Gavin from JJ Hat Center. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> giveaway time it is somebody sent us a, uh, a donation of a brand new brand new Akubra wonderful model the Akubra style master which is like their nicest model brand new unworn truly unworn and it's in a pretty rare color um, JJ Hat Center sells it in like a beige color sort of a sand and we sell it in carbon gray which is a dark dark grayish slate color like a blue gray um, I've also seen it in black on the website I know it comes in black we don't carry the black for some reason we should I think though um, this is in moonstone which is a light color that's why I didn't understand it when he said he was sending me a moonstone style master I've never seen one actually um, we generally carry the uh, the Bushman in Moonstone, we've, had a, we've carried the Cattleman, but I've never seen a Style Master in Moonstone, and it is exquisite. It looks, I don't know what it looks, it looks more expensive in this color, it's gorgeous. Here's your classic JJ Hat Center box, corrugated, every time you order a hat from JJ's you get this box for free. Um, you know, we sell them for 15 bucks. Generally if you come in off the street as a walk-in, We'll give you one for free. We might have some with some scratches or like a little tear here or, you know, like the stickers a little messed up. Those we can't give away with a brand new, you know, like two, three hundred dollar hat because it looks cheesy. So, you know, if we have like a, a box with a tiny cosmetic flaw on it, we might just give you that for free um, as a walk-in. But basically, um, every hat you buy comes with a free hat box, one box. And um, a lot of the shipping is free over a certain price, I think 75 every you know, shipping's free. So you're getting free shipping, free hat box, um, which is great. I think Akura um, is advertised slightly lower when you go to their distributor, uh, David Morgan, but when you tack on the um, shipping costs and you look at your total cost in the cart at the very end when you're ready to pay, it winds up being 190 where uh, buying it from JJ's, it's 175 no tax, no shipping. So it's actually cheaper buying it from us. People say, you know, can you match our price? I was like, you know, homie, just put it in the cart, see what they charge you by the ends. And they're like, oops, thanks, you know. So anyway, we do have the best deal. Check this out. Akubra hats have been 175 since I can remember. They came in at the very beginning when I got here in 94, I think. Maybe 95, like a, a year after I got here. Uh, we carried the Riverina, the Snowy River, a few other things. We carried a bush hat, um, just a few things from them. We had maybe four or five hats back then. And they were 175. And they are exactly the same. They have not changed their quality, anything. Their leather, their logos, their lining, their felt is exactly the same after 25 years and they have not raised their prices where every other brand in the shop to raise their price maybe two three four times in 25 years they haven't um, their hats are rainproof you can wear them in the rain you could own it for a lifetime and it will never die on you a lot of people have them and they don't even look worn they just look you know they don't look worn out they just look like still fairly new and they're you know hats from like the 60s i've seen you know snowy rivers with such old old logos inside i have no idea how old they're let's take a look at this giveaway hat i just like to thank the um the donor um who donated this hat um it's a fantastic gesture of you um this person is a very very avid uh, watcher of my show he's been a supporter for a long time, at least a year, and uh, watches every single video, comments every time, always has something really nice and cool to say, um, sometimes funny, sometimes just good questions. He's a real hat wearer, he wears Stetsons, he wears a Kubra, he wears all sorts of stuff, and uh, he knows his stuff. And uh, he's into rock and roll too, uh, he gave me a couple of gifts, which is... I, it's so, I'm so touched. I'm touched and moved by this. Jerry Garcia band, a live concert. Oh man, Cape Cod. Wow. John Conn, all those guys. And then another one of them from 84. We got Hampton Beach. How sweet it is. Oh man. I don't have my glasses on, so I don't know exactly what shows these are. But he got me two live bootlegs from the JGB, Jerry Garcia band, one of the best, hottest bands in the world. 
you know, Jerry was like kind of, you know, he's like a really mellow guy and stuff, just super mellow, kind of stoner dude, but his band was super fiery hot and stuff, you know. Uh, and he gave me a couple of picks that people flicked out of him at shows, a 38 special pick. In the 70s rocker like you guys, I'm sure you remember them. Would they have like three guitarists on stage and a bassist, right? Uh, and then the leader Ford, leader Ford from the, uh, the Runaways, Lita Ford's butt, and it says Lita Ford, something suggestive in there, I forgot to suit. Kiss my, kiss my butt, you know, kiss my ass, yes, something like that, Lita Ford, lot of fart. <laughs> That's what we used to call her back in the days, a lot of fart. <laughs> Let's look at this hat, alright? Come on, I'm not gonna. Look at this, he even included two feathers. The original Cooper feather is that long one right there. This looks like a JJ feather. You are a fantastic man. You know who I'm talking about, the guy who gave this, paid it forward. Ladies and gentlemen, the Moonstone. You know, Marcus has always asked me about high boxy crowns and stuff. A lot of people buy this hat and they say, can you make that crown lower and less boxy, more like the Whippet? Well, this is a higher, more boxy crown. Um, I prefer the quality way, way more than the 2020 Borsalino stuff, which I actually don't care for. Um, and those are going for like 450 plus tax, I think, or I guess 450 even for shipping, you know, for mail order. These are going for 175. The leather on here. The leather is just so supple and expensive feeling. It's thick, yet like soft and high-end. It's a silk lining. Nobody has silk linings, come on. That's silk or satin? Yeah, I'm not sure, it might be satin or silk, who knows. They've got the piece of cellophane here, the plastic, which keeps that from getting dirty. It doesn't get yellowed from your sweat. Okay, that can feel uncomfortable if you're bald. Some people don't like the plastic because it could be cold in the winter against your head if you're bald. Okay, if that's the case, you can cut this little piece of plastic out. You just, just make a little slit and rip it off. The clear plastic comes off underneath there. It's just regular satin, silk, whatever. So you can get that plastic, or you could just take the lining out and reverse it, put it inside out, but I don't think that's necessary. Just take the plastic piece off. This stuff is, comes off very easily. You know, linings are removable, see? Yeah, you could work on it even outside the hat and just, just get that plastic off. Okay, let's look at this. Look at the softness of this felt. It's thick and rugged, you know, like you'd want it to be. Nostalgic in the cut. You could do a high crown, a low crown. It's got that snap, you know, that... Listen to that, you know, Akubra is, it's like the last word in hats. They're so well-priced, they're so nicely designed. I don't get paid to say this either. As a matter of fact, I'm not even on salary right now. This is all just to enrich the scene. Okay, teardrop. The Kubra and stone colored teardrop bound edge. See the binding on the edge? It's got a nice small bound edge, so it's not overly uh, nostalgic where it looks like a costume. Okay, this Moonstone is a 58, okay, seven and a quarter. This time it is a seven and a quarter. Let's look inside. Is it indeed a 58 or a 59? 
we told me it was 59, but I'm saying 58. Okay, it's a, it's a 58, seven and a quarter for everybody concerned. I'm gonna do a different giveaway this time. This time, we're gonna do the contest a little bit differently. Um, just pack this up carefully. This hat is new, I just don't wanna pack it up uh, not too quickly. Put it inside the hat ring. Everything's elevated. Okay. You're here now. We're going to talk about a few other things before I talk about this contest. JJ Hat Center is just starting to get in some uh, Stetson felts now. Okay. Um, Stetson just started. So people who have been looking for this model and that model all over the place, wondering why they're not there, Stetson hasn't shipped yet. They just just started they generally start mid-october october 15th but it never gets here on time it's always late so they started around whatever october 20 something which is not that late but they come in drips and drabs you get like you know like these pallets these big wooden pallets that come off the truck with like cartons piled up like you know this high and uh, it could be 10 15 it could be 20 100 cartons 70 80 you never know but sometimes it's like two styles so there's a small chance that your hat is there, you know. All right, so uh, we got in the the Morgan, which is a hat we have not gotten in in three years from Stetson, but they were on order, okay? The Morgan is incredibly hot. It's a very small, small brim. I'm not talking one and three eighths, um, one and three quarters like the uh, Asher. It is smaller. Here's an Asher, let me show you. I have the Asher and hemp, okay? The Asher hemp and the Asher felt are the same shape. This is a one and three quarter inch brim. Okay, the Morgan that just came in is a lower crown. It's low like a pork pie. It's a diamond crown, and instead of one and three quarter, it's one and three eighths. So it's like a one and a half, a little smaller than one and a half. Okay, so it's like this crown lower. You know, like these hemp hats, you could stretch. They could be made higher. Steam it like that, you could steam it lower, you know, like this. You do a stretch, so you push it down, steam it low. But Morgan's way down there. It's a cool pork pie with a diamond. And um, it has a weird name uh, with the V, the Vector 1. So we changed the name. It's called the Stetson Vector 1. If you're curious and you don't know what that hat is, um, I'll see if I can find it for you. Okay, the Stetson Vector 1 is one of the hottest hats we've ever had from them. It's like the Asher, but smaller, lower, shorter brim, lower crown. It's incredible. For, if, for anybody who wants the shortest brim, lowest crown possible, if you're a short guy and you don't like high crowns like this, you know, well, not high crowns, you don't like a regular fedora crown, you need lower, lower. It's as low as a pork pie without being a pork pie. So let's call it that. Um, Okay, let's look at the Stetson Morgan. Now, they call it the Stetson, uh, Stetson Vector One. Images. Okay, the Stetson Vector One is a great little hat. It's incredibly popular. We sell so many of them. Uh, but it's, it's been gone. It's just a hat that we haven't been able to get for so long. Um, I want to show you yeah, this one pictured here in, in Midnight Blue. I don't know. It's not a great picture either. You can't really see what the heck it looks like. Yeah, you can barely see it. Let's see what else we could find here. Vector 1. Okay, here's a Sage one. That might look better. trouble finding it. Let's let's look for JJ Hat Center's Facebook. I bet they have a picture of it there, right? Let's look now. Okay. JJ. Watch this is gonna be I'm gonna strike gold now. Okay, the picture of the vector what here we go, the Morgan. Okay. 
The Morgan is two hundred dollars. That's what it looks like. It's a low, low teardrop. Super nice felt. It's the same felt as the Asher, the Temple, the Whippet, and everything with a teeny tiny little brim. Low, low crown. The brim snaps. You could wear it down. It looks casual. It looks really cool. It comes in colors like sage, beige, black, gray. Um, it's a lot of colors in that hat. It's a little uh, jazzy, youthful hat. I think uh, the Morgan is back in stock. Oh, okay, it says the Sage Morgan is back in stock. So maybe we only got the uh, the Sage. Huh. All right. Yeah, Sage Morgan. That's it. Um, I'm out there right now. The Morgan. Morgan, you tested. Hmm. Uh, we got some sizes here. Morgan and Tawny as your beige. Uh, we're out of gray. We're out of dark brown. Okay, it looks like we got Tawny beige. We got black. And we got sage. Okay. Black is awesome too. Um, it's, it's a great hat. Yeah, it's harder to see a black hat, you know. But anyway, I'm not going to talk so much about that. We're going to talk about the, con the contest now. Okay, another, well, there is another hat that just came in too that's really nice. The Calico. The Calico is something that uh, we made up that name. Stetson has a different name for it. I forgot what they call it. Uh, the Stetson 123 or something like that. It's got a weird name. Um, the Stetson Calico is amazing, though. It's um, classified as a Western Fedora, which is kind of strange. It's a new classification. Um, what it basically is, it's a Fedora with nice, good, rugged felts, you know. It has a uh, sort of a leather lanyard around it, but it's underneath that lanyard and the big turkey feather is a regular bow. So you can take all that crap off. The leather lanyard comes off, and so does that uh, turkey wing tail feather or whatever it is. And there's a regular old bow under there. So it's a standard fedora with a bound edge, but no pinches no pinches at all so you can pinch it you can open road it make a couple of creases on the side you know just crease it like a three finger cattleman um, it comes with the big turkey wing feather uh, as a matter of fact I do have a turkey wing feather an extra one uh, this is not the one that comes uh, you know on my hat I think these are separate so I'm gonna be uh, giving this away too because I know a lot of people who probably can't get this kind of stuff there are probably people who could go out to the backyard and pull it out of a turkey's butt you know but um yeah th this is something I'm going to give away too um, we're going to have a weird little contest um, now as far as winning this Akubra Moonstone Style Master with the feathers and everything in a JJ Hat Center box mailed to your doorstep. This is how you get it, okay? Um, the contest is going to be a little different this time. Last time it was totally luck. It was going to be a random drawing. Pretty much everybody got to you know, have one uh, comment, and I, I let a, a number, random number, uh, just uh, pick it, you know? This time we're going to do, um, you know, like those caption contests where you have to like pick the funniest caption or something like that? Okay, we're going to do something like that. Um, we're going to have the funniest comment. How's that? The funniest comment contest. Um, now, this is a weird contest because not everybody out there is funny. You know? Some people are funnier than others, so I want it to be fair and stuff too. So, um, here's the deal. Um, Leave a funny comment if you can, okay? 
the funniest comment will definitely be um, considered. Leave a regular comment if you can't leave a funny comment, okay? Whoever leaves the funniest comment is definitely going to have a prize, and I'm also going to pick uh, somebody at random, too. We're going to do the same thing with the random number drawings. Um, so, if um, you just comment on this video, okay, you're eligible. There are basically two things I'd like you guys to do, is just comment, okay? If you can like, that's great too. Now, you don't have to like it if you don't like this video. Only like, give me a thumbs up if you like it. You know, if you like what I'm doing and stuff. You don't like what I'm doing, I s suspect you're not going to do it and I don't expect you to anyway. But um, the other thing is I'd like you to subscribe down there, like right underneath this little, okay, so if you're looking at this frame. Okay, right underneath this frame, down there it says subscribe. It usually will say it in red letters. You see a little, not so big, it's a little letters like this. But look right down there under my picture. See it down there? It's down there. Yeah, yeah. Look right there. It says subscribe. All right. You gotta just touch that. And what that does is you subscribe to my site. It basically just gives you dibs to my videos first. As soon as they come out, it comes you know to the top of your YouTube browser. Only when you hit at the bottom of the subscribe section. You know, if you're in different section yeah you won't see me but when you go to subscribe everybody you subscribe to will be right up the top so you don't miss a video um, there's no downside to it you don't pay anything there's no more commercials or anything this is an example of basically helping me out by subscribing thumbs up and commenting okay and I helped you guys out because it's a viewer appreciation. Basically, uh, I've been here for a year pretty successfully doing the show, and gaining more customers and, you know, and viewers, and uh, it's time to give back a little bit. You guys have listened to my caterwauling and my guitar playing for long enough and looking at my, you know, my greasy hair and my uh, weird t-shirts for so long and putting up with my uh, nonsense. And I think you deserve... Uh, a little something something so I, I wish you guys luck I really do every single one of you I, I like a lot of you guys just about every single one of you guys are amazing uh, but uh, probably pretty every one of you, every one of you guys watching right now is great I love you um, just keep doing what you're doing and uh, if you can make a funny comment that's cool too uh, it could be about anything you want you want to make a funny uh, political thing that's fine you want to just tell me one of your favorite jokes? That's okay, too. Uh, you want to give me a Don Rickles uh, insult uh, thing? You know, like, uh, Kevin, uh, you're so fat, your blood type is ragu. You know, one of those things. Or, uh, you know what I'm saying. Anything you want, uh, funny is good. Um, I'm going to choose two winners. I'm going to choose one for the funniest comments, and I'm going to choose one at random uh, who's going to win that hat. So, um... Give me one comment. Uh, if you give me a whole bunch of comments on this video, I'll probably have to delete one of them because I want to pick at random. If there's a hundred people commenting. I don't want you to have two comments. That's at least twice as much. You know, comment once. If you have any other questions, comment on another one of my videos, and I'll get it just the same. You know, I answer every one of my questions generally. Recently, it's been getting. Like, it takes me two, three hours to do my comments and my questions and emails from JJ's and stuff. So, a lot of people have been getting thumbs up and not answers to their questions, especially people who, like, comment, you know, like, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day. I just can't answer every one. But, um, comment once, and I will pick one of you guys, and uh, if you can subscribe to, that is awesome. Comment and subscribe. You just hit the button down there, and you're eligible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a winner from my next video. Okay, I'm going to give this a little bit of time to run so people can uh, see this video and enter and put their comment in and stuff. And then my next video, I'm going to pick a winner. We're going to tell you guys uh, who is the winner of this brand new Akura Moonstone Colored Style Master. And I'm going to tell you right now, of all the hats I've been selling for the last two and a half decades, I've been working 25 years at JJ's, nine years before that at my dad's shop, you know, we sold Stetsons there too and stuff. Um, this is probably the best quality hat, best performance-wise hat, 
if I were going to take any fedora into a, uh, a blizzard, this would be the one. If I had to tell you, okay, you got one hat that you can take up to Mount Everest, and uh, this is the one that will last you long enough for you to hand it down to your kids' kids, that is the hat I'd give you. Now, there are other hats that are westerns, that are heavy, and this and that, but fedoras, it barely gets better than this. You know, there are more expensive hats, but better quality than, you know, this is like as good as it gets. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Stetson too. everybody knows that, um, and I'm, I'm a fan of the older Italian hats from years ago, you know, but uh, not the newer ones, and um, the custom-made Spanish stuff I really like, the Valencia, the Seville, but this, yeah, this is bang for the buck, tell you about that, it's like getting, you know, like a Bentley Lamborghini quality luxury and engine for like Honda Accord prices. It's it's crazy. So um, hats off to you. No pun intended, uh, Akubra. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, everybody out there, um, I appreciate it. I'm going to go down for just a second. Now. Let's put this one on because everybody says it's the classic one with the tag. All right. I'm also going to be giving away this feather too, okay? Feather and some other assorted goodies. I've got a Borsellino box. It's a balsa wood box for rolling up hats for travel. So when you go on vacation, you roll up your travel hat, and you stick it in the wood box, and you stick that in your suitcase. It's like a capsule made out of balsa wood. I'm giving that away. I'm giving this away. I'm also giving away my only one of these. This is a very special JJ Hat Center pin, a badge. Okay, it's a magnet. It's got two sides. This is a collection they're doing with, uh, you know, different vintage scenes on it and stuff. Uh, and hold on, let me get my glasses on here so I can see this other side here. Yeah, there's different like you know vintage, vintagey looking scenes. Okay, what's cool about this, it's a very, very strong magnet. It's a neo diamond or whatever you call it. One of those super strong magnets. You know this, I don't know if you've ever seen these things before. They're incredible. It's like a magnet, but it's like 10 times stronger than a regular magnet. I like putting on the opposite sides, like north to north, when they won't touch. Don't you love doing that? Yeah, watch, they won't touch. Oh, I love this. <laughs> anyway, uh, the JJ... <laughs> the JJ pen I'm going to give away to. I only have one of these. It's double-sided, so you could wear it on one side or the other side. Oh, it's stuck to the music stand. That's what happened. It's so strong. Yeah, it's my JJ swag, okay. We're going to give away this... Uh, JJ Pen uh, Magnet. I'm going to give away the feather, a turkey wing feather. Uh, we're going to give away that uh, balsa wood box for rolling hats. And I have a few other things too that are a little hard to ship. I have a lot of posters, so I'm going to have to worry about those later on. That'll be a, a later swag. So uh, those little guys are going to go for the funniest comments, okay? That's not going to be a random drawing. That's going to be me. I'm going to pick that one myself. The funniest comment thing will win the feather, the box, the wood box for rolling a hat, and the neo dimium magnet uh, badgey thing. Um, Mm-hmm.